Oh hi, my name is Cooper Quick and welcome to Quick Time. Today's issue, well, episode, would have to work since it's Wednesday, and so I figured I would post a review today, and not just one review of one comic, but the whole Aquaman um, New 52 so far since it started. Um, I'm going to talk about how they've really, Jeff Jones, uh, Johns, however you pronounce his name, I'm really sorry if I mispronounce it, um, but anyways, he's a fantastic writer. He writes the Aquaman and Justice League books, and I'm pretty sure he did Green Lantern for a little bit until like issue 20 or something like that, and then he resigned from that, and then he's also doing uh, villains, when they do the villains and. I think October they're doing that. Um, I haven't looked that up yet when they're doing the villain month, but I think it's October. Anyways, um, Aquaman. If you have everything you've heard about Aquaman, about him being a wimp or being like the worst superhero ever, just throw that out. Like right now, just throw that out. Because, in fact, Superman countless times has knocked Superman on his ass, Batman all of them. He's not a fucking pussy. Just gonna say it like that. Aquaman is probably one of the best. He's my favorite. Just because, not just because like everyone always picks on him and like that he's underrated and like underdogs, but because he is probably the most badass superhero. Like, hands down. Because, one, he's the king of Atlantis. Two, he's got that badass trident. Three, he forces um, sea creatures to help him. He doesn't ask them. He, he forces them. Um, three, he can jump really, really high. Three again, because he's got bulletproof skin. I mean, come on. What's not cool about bulletproof skin? I mean, like, if you could just... Like, in issue number one, he got shot at. And was like, yeah, what up? Doesn't even affect me, bro. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyways, Aquaman, the art that Paul does, and I think Sean, is just freaking amazing. This is the scavenger right here. And like, look at this artwork. It's just freaking amazing. Um, if you have not given this book a try yet, or this series, feel f like, I, I strongly suggest it. Aquaman is probably the best story out right now, besides, there's a few others like Deadpool, Spider-Man, but for DC, Aquaman is definitely has me, and The Flash is pretty well written too, but this is Aquaman's um, video. Uh, so a lot of things that bug me the most is when people are just like, oh no, Aquaman's like lame, he's like super dumb, you know, he's worthless, but in reality, he has helped get the Justice League out of a lot of crap. Um, and without Aquaman, they would have been screwed. Also, like, anyone that can, like, force a Kraken to help them is pretty badass in my book. Like, come on now. And um, people that say, like, oh, Aquaman doesn't need to be in the Justice League movie and blah, blah, blah. It's like, no. Aquaman was, like, the third member of Justice League. It was Superman and Batman, and the first person they went to was Aquaman. He's pretty big deal. He's a very important part of the Justice League and the original crew. Um, and it really makes me upset when I see like shirts and stuff, and they never have Aquaman on it um, because he's not as popular. Or like they don't even have Super um, Aquaman merchandise really. Like you don't see like Aquaman hats or shirts or anything like that in stores, which kind of makes me upset because it's like, you know. The 60s ruined Aquaman, in my opinion, and that makes me really mad because, like, he's not like that at all that you've seen in the 60s cartoon. He's way cooler. He's got an awesome story. Um, him and Black Manta's story is just freaking phenomenal. If you don't know what it is, um, pretty much Black Manta's, spoiler alert, spoiler alert for anyone that doesn't want to know, um, pause the video now, or skip past this, <laughs> um, but anyways, yeah, spoiler alert, Black Manta and Aquaman, um, their feud, pretty much, Black Manta's dad killed 
um, well, attempted to kill Aquaman's dad, but Aquaman's dad had a heart attack. So Aquaman got mad and thought it was Black Manta and was going after Black Manta, but accidentally killed Black Manta's dad. So now Black Manta wants revenge on Aquaman. So that's pretty much where they're at, like, you know, that feud and stuff like that. And also, in the new couple issues of Aquaman, there's a huge twist of events that's freaking awesome. And the last three um, books, this is the newest one um, that just came out, has kept readers, like, on the edge of their seats. And it's like, I cannot wait for the next issue. Because, like, as soon as... this, The way this one ends, it's just like, no, why do I have to wait a month? Why? <laughs> Unlike Marvel, where Marvel, it's like every two weeks they have a new issue. Where, but DC, it's once a month. You have to wait a whole month before the next one comes in. Um, but yeah, anyways, like, this is more like a rant than anything. More than more, of, It's more of a rant than it is a review. Because the only thing I can really say about this is, if you have not picked it up yet, don't even hesitate. Just go out and get the newest issue if you have to. Because they just, they have the, um... Or even just get the first volume, and if you like, what like read the first nine. Um, I think I'm pretty sure the volumes one through nine um, issues, the first nine issues. Read that, and if you like it, wait for the next volume and start buying these, and <laughs> you will not be disappointed. I promise you. Um, like I said, I'm gonna be doing reviews on a bunch of different DC Marvel characters and also Dark Horse and Image. Like from Image I read Spawn, Dark Horse, I'm gonna look into some of their newer series, see if I can get it from like issue one or two or something like that. Um I also have the new X Men the new X Men, all the Marvel Nows, um, like Guardians of the Galaxy, all that stuff, um, Hunger, uh you know, Deadpool Superior Spider-Man, all those great things, and the Justice League Trinity War, I'm going to do a video on that, probably Saturday, so look forward to that, that is going to be freaking awesome, because that has just been crazy, um, that's another series that I suggest you pick up, even if it's just for Trinity War, um, it, that you buy, like, Justice League Dark and stuff, it's totally worth it, the whole story behind Trinity War is freaking crazy, which is actually leading up to the Super Villain Month, which is gonna be crazy too, where the whole month is just dedicated to Superman, uh, super villain, uh, stories. And I'm pretty sure those are gonna be one shots, the super villains. So, um, I'm excited to see what they come up with for that. And another thing that I want to talk about before we leave is I really hope they do an Aquaman movie because if they do this comic book series right here, the New 52 Aquaman, if they do a movie on it, there's no way it could fail. Unless, of course, they have bad acting. But as long as it's as good as, as well done as they did um, Man of Steel, Aquaman will definitely be right up there with other great superhero movies. And it could be the movie and that could turn Aquaman all the way around and give him the respect that he deserves. Because this comic book series alone has already... Um, changed a lot of people's views on Aquaman, and he was nominated Most Badass Superhero of the Year last year um, when this series first started. So I'm pretty sure he won, too. He won Most Badass Superhero. So that's enough right there. And in just No, yeah, in Justice Gods Among Us, where Aquaman's character in that is pretty badass. As you can see, they're trying to turn him around. They're trying to revamp him, make him... Um, give him the respect that he deserves. Uh, also, in Flashpoint, Aquaman, the evil Aquaman in that, he was pretty much badass. So as you can see, they are, they, Aquaman is going to hopefully rise out of the depths of the ocean where he was made fun of and be up here where he should be with the respect of all the other superheroes. But anyways, I'm going to let you guys go with this episode. I hope you guys um, learned some interesting facts. Or if you want to know more, feel free to a ask me questions down below. And I will get back to you as soon as possible. And I may even make a part two of this video to answer your questions. So with that said, I will see you guys next time. I love you all. Bye.